said the woman with the issue of blood when he beheld Jesus she pressed on and touched the hem the hem of Jesus' garment and then she received her healing today the atmosphere has been stirred the waters have been stirred but I don't know the expectation of, on your heart the Bible says that the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off any expectation you brought in today you are going to press in on the grace available. And you are saying to yourself, Lord, I need a touch. Today, grant me a touch. Remember me, O God, and visit me. Is it a good prayer? Say, in the name of Jesus. 
Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of oh Jesus. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Remember me today. Remember me tonight. And visit my case. And visit my case. Remember me today. Remember me today. And visit my case. And visit my case. In a stubborn case. And this stubborn case. In a stubborn problem. And this stubborn problem. That I came here with. That I came, I came here, here with it. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Visit me. 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 Lift up your voice.
for the day, which is our daily bread. We are pleading unto Jehovah. We are crying unto the Lord this day. And we are praying that, oh God, provide for us, even unto the end of the year. He says that, and give us this day our daily bread. May we not lack our daily bread in the remaining days of the year. Lord, provide for us according to your riches in glory. May we not lack our daily bread. May we not lack our daily bread. Amen. May we not lack our daily bread. Amen. Provide unto us according to your riches in glory. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Provide. Provide unto us, unto us, us, according to your riches. According to your riches, lift up your voice. Rabba shada ba, Rabba do shada ba. Provide unto us. Ipa rada ba shada ba, Ipa rada ba, rada ba shada ba, rada ba, Ipa rada ba shada, rada ba shada, rada ba, Ipa rada ba, rada ba shada, rada ba shada, Ipa rada ba shada, rada ba shada, Ipa rada ba shada, rada ba shada, Ipa rada ba shada, rada ba shada, Ya paya ya paya ya 
right hand. Strengthen him and grant him fortitude. We are praying for grace for him. We are praying for anointing for him. Lord, any virtue that has come out of him, Lord, replenish. Amen. Lift up your voice and begin to cry unto the Lord. That may the Lord replenish him. Begin to lift up your voice and thank God. Thank God for this morning. Thank God for today. How far the Lord has brought us. Lift up your voice and thank Him. Bless His holy name for that which He has done for us. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Him. In the name of Jesus. Can you lift your right your hands unto the heavens? Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are grateful unto you. We are grateful unto you. For sustaining us. For sustaining us. For the first four days. For the first four days. Of our fast. Of our fast. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Let your grace. Let your grace. Be bestowed. Be bestowed. Be bestowed. Upon our life. Upon our life. And carry us through. And carry us through. This journey. This journey. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Leave us not halfway. Leave us not halfway. In the journey. In the, journey. In the name, in the name of, Jesus. of Jesus, this morning, this morning we, are here we are here to draw from you. Deny us not, Deny us not your, presence, your presence, that at the end, at the end glory, 
glory, glory honor, 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 and adoration shall be given unto you. Given we thank you, Lord Jesus. You, Lord Jesus. Have, your way. Have your way. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. Slap your hands unto the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord, somebody. Oh, praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 29, verses 2. He said, give unto God the glory that is due his name. And worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. I'm sure many of us are aware that we are in our 50 days of fasting and prayers and forcing victory. Therefore, I want you to understand that we are in a particular atmosphere and you need to create that atmosphere for you to meet God. So wherever you are, you need to get your heart prepared, get your mind prepared as we enter into a time of worship. I want you to worship God today with revelation. Don't sing because we are singing. Don't shout because we are, shout, we are shouting. Don't dance because we are dancing. But whatever you do, do it with revelation. Amen. You want to lift up your voice and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Go ahead and exalt Jesus. Give unto him the glory that is due his name. Worship him in the beauty of his holiness. David said, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Go ahead and Jesus. Go ahead and give him glory. You alone are worthy, Jesus. Thank you, Father. We exalt you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Take all the glory, Jesus. Yeah, you are your God. 
I don't 
banner of praise unto him. Yeah, 
worthy of our praise. He's the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne. He alone. He's the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne. He alone is worthy of our praise. I enter the holy of holies. Oh, I enter the blood of the Lamb. I enter to worship you only. Lord, I enter. To honor I Lord, I worship you. I worship you. Lord.
says he go to na oye oyo yi kesi ai Oh 
Your word. 
Aleluia. Aleluia. I thought somebody would give Jesus a better clap offering. I thought somebody would show Jesus some love. Oh, hallelujah. This is your atmosphere. It has to change. Uh, say, tell your neighbor, 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 I know you are fasting. Say, even, even that one, I'm not so sure. Uh, looking at some faces, I don't know. Hallelujah. But say, neighbor, whether you are fasting, as you, are, as you should be fasting, make sure you are somewhat lively. I am looking for a lively partner. As you are standing next to me, you are my partner in the Holy Ghost this morning. So I want to see some fireworks. If your neighbor is sitting and she's not disabled, pick the neighbor up for me. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. The Bible said a little leaven, a leaven at the whole lump. We don't want to be leavened. Hallelujah. Madam, please be on your feet for me. If she's sitting, be on your feet or I will come to you myself. Clap for Jesus. <laughs> hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Now turn to your neighbor and get a neighbor. Amen. I hope you are fasting. Amen. What did the neighbor say? Uh, they, they didn't respond well, Abby. <laughs> Amen. Say, neighbor, yeah. this is day four. Day four. It's day four, Abby. Yeah. I decided not to count. If you count, it becomes difficult, so don't count. <laughs> Amen. 50 days. Amen. Say, this is, day four this is day four of our fasting and prayers to victory. If only you will fast with me faithfully and consistently come to church 6 p.m. every day. As often as we meet here, I can assure you, by December 31st, you shall be victorious. You shall be victorious. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. What did your neighbor say? Huh? <laughs> Clap for Jesus. Please take their seat on the eyes of your enemies. On behalf of our father, the prophet, Prophet Monology, I welcome all of us to this morning's turning point service. The turning point service, 50 days of fasting and prayers into victory edition. It is my prayer that as we are together pursuing Jesus in this course, that indeed, even from today, if you have not begun to see some signs of testimonies, even by the close of this service, for sure, you would have experienced a touch from the Lord. I thought somebody would say amen. For those watching us outside, I'm sorry, those outhouse or virtual uh, participants, it is my prayer that, as my father would always say, make sure that you share us, double share, quadruple share, but make sure that you share, be a good ambassador of the gospel, and I promise you, your life will never be the same, but make sure that you are also fasting because we are expecting a victorious church, both in-house and outhouse. Hallelujah. Tonight, don't forget we are here at 6 p.m. sharp. 6 p.m. sharp. And those who were here last night, I hope you went through your directions. If you have your containers with you, make sure that your coconut is in them before tonight's service. Or you can bring the coconut along with you as our Father instructed and we'll do the directions together. But make sure that every direction, that's the point I am driving at, every direction given is done with Holy Ghost precision. Are we communicating here for us to see the Holy Ghost results? So make sure you are here tonight at 6 p.m. and your life will never be the same. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 58 verse 6 going. And it says, is, 
It's not this the fast that I chose, to lose the bounds of wickedness, to undo the straps of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free and to break every yoke. Verse 7, it's not, is it not to share your bread with the hungry and bring the homeless and bring the homeless poor into your house when you see the naked to cover him and not to hide yourself from your own flesh? Then shall your light break forth like the dawn and your healing shall spring up speedily. Hallelujah. That is Isaiah 58 verse 6 to 8, the ESV version. It is basically saying that this is the time, especially in a fasting season like this, is the season where you give. Like now, for us believers, giving should be a lifestyle. But the Bible is saying that especially in times like this, as you fast, is when you don't hold back, but you give. That you give, and you give, and you give properly. Not sparingly, but you give as God gave his only begotten son for me and you to have salvation. So to give wholeheartedly, are we communicating here? And so with this in mind, in this fasting season, it is my prayer that every time that you are called on to give, or as often as you come in this offering time, that you give with this in mind. That as I give, even in this season, indeed, may the healing of our Lord God be perfected in me. Healing is part of the victory. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. And he said that your light shall break forth. Whoever you are in Christ, you will be what? You, 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 you will break out and break forth. And you will be not, noted that whoever you are, whatever you carry, shall be seen by men. That your testimony, thank you, Holy Ghost, shall be seen by, by men. That the, 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 the blessings that the Lord will give you shall be seen by, by men. And they will acknowledge that indeed you have not fasted unto a man, but you have fasted unto God. With this in mind, prepare a good offering. Our Father has taught us in this house not to just give, but to always give with a purpose. So as you pick your offerings, declare a word about the offering. On this fourth day, as I offer unto Christ in this turning point service, let me see a turnaround in my business. Let me see a turnaround in my ministry, in my relationships. Let my light indeed break forth. Let my light break forth. Let the healing of our Lord find perfection in me, in my relationships, in my marriage, in my travel, in my education, in every aspect of my life. Let the name of Jesus Christ be revealed and be glorified. Lift up your voice and pray over those offerings and be on your feet with me if, uh, if you would. If you're watching us online, you could be anywhere else in the world, but know that as long as you can see me and hear me, it is still church without walls and we encourage you to give. The Bible says that to never come into the presence of the Lord empty-handed. So it is only proper that you give. And you are more than welcome to give through any of the platforms on the screen, but make sure that you give. Now lift up the offerings. If your offerings are ready, let us pray together. Lift them up quickly. Can I have the offering platforms on the screen? If you could, media, please help me out. Lift them up, lift them up, lift them up, lift them up, please. Lift them up. If you are done, if you could please be on your feet. We are still waiting for those seated to be on their feet, if you could. The lady in the back, please be on your feet, if you could. Even if you're not given, I expect you to be on your, on your feet. It's a corporate affair, so make sure we do it together. Hallelujah. We are still waiting for those who are seated to be on your feet. Now, please, now put your hands down. Hear me. In this atmosphere, your attitude is everything. Obey simple instructions. And you would walk out of here more blessed than it was when you came in. Obey simple instructions. If we say sit, sit. We say rise, rise. We say dance, dance. Whatever you see us do. That when our, our brother was leading in prayer, he said the atmosphere is already stirred. Yes, the atmosphere is already stirred. And the Lord is here. And your heart will determine what you leave here with. This is for those who are here for the very first time. Have a poised heart ready to follow all instructions given. And your life will never be the same. I will communicate in here. Now lift them up for me. Father, even in the name of Jesus Christ, in our hands are tokens which we bring before you. It is a privilege for us to give back what you've given to us. It is our prayer that even as we give, let our light 
or let, let, let your light in us break forth and break out. According to your word, let your healing be perfected in us. Wherever that requires healing in our lives, Father, let your healing find perfection. Let by these seeds, by this offering, let our heavens be opened. Let our heavens be provoked to our cause tonight, this morning. And let the name of Jesus Christ be glorified. We thank you, Father, for answered prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The ushers will guide you from the back. God bless you.
Somebody will clap for Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I told you earlier on, your, your vim is slow. Somebody should give, give Jesus a mighty shout offering. Ah. Add a clap offering to the shout. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Oh, amen. amen. Please, as my father would always say, attitude is everything. Attitude. Is everything. Your attitude will determine your attitude in the spirit. Hallelujah. And tonight, if you want to touch something, make sure you check your attitude. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Whatever issues you came with, check it. Kasa wusugu wusugu. Kasa wusugu na miyadi. Kasa neba wusugu wusugu. Kasa wusugu wusugu. Kasa wusugu. Shake yourselves more for me. Oh, hallelujah. I'm not looking so much. I said, fast and I did him too much. Hallelujah. Clap for Jesus. Now sit on the head of your enemies. Oh, amen. Don't forget tonight we are here at 6 p.m. For those who just joined us, again, thank you so much for coming this morning. But tonight we are here at 6 p.m. And make sure you come in fully prepared. Last night was something else. Tonight promises to be more corrosive. Hallelujah. And don't forget your direction. Like I said earlier on, make sure you follow every direction with Holy Ghost precision. Hallelujah. And you shall testify to the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. This morning, our Father is in the house. Please let me help me celebrate our Father. Help me celebrate our Father. I thought somebody would rise on their feet and give a clap offering unto Jesus for our Father. Hallelujah. Oh, amen. Hallelujah. Now sit on the eyes of your enemies this time around. Amen. But this morning we have one of the sons of the prophets, a brother and a friend, a dangerous man as well. Hallelujah. Oh, amen. This man is an author and a preacher. He's based in Canada. He's, you know, somewhat known by some of us in this house. Hallelujah. And this morning the Lord has prepared him to be a blessing unto us. Amen. Please, church, help me receive Minister Reverend, I'm sorry, Charles, Nana K. Trumisi. 
Ankara. Oh, with a clap off and can do better than that. You know the matter. You know the matter. You are the kind of a beast that don't make it sad. You can do it better unto God. You can do it better unto God. You can do it better unto God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless God for his atmosphere at this hour. And we appreciate our daddy for this opportunity. Let us give it up unto our daddy for this opportunity. It is our day four of our fast and we are considering our daily bread. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for a time as this in your presence. We ask that you abide with us until the end of time. In this meeting, we declare that you deposit a word, a word that is potent to transform our lives. Lead us to that place of glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Child of God, we, we bless God one more time for this opportunity to be here at this hour to stand in the gap with you in prayer. And I believe that we are all poised into this service to receive what God wants to deposit in our lives. I want you to really be part of this service and your life will never be the same. Our uh, scripture for today's service that I love so much is Matthew chapter 6 verse 11. And it says that give us this day our daily bread. And that is my anchor text to exalt from, in, from this particular uh, text in this service. Give us this day our daily bread. When we look into scripture, we get to know that this is a model prayer that Jesus gave to his followers to pray. One of the focus of this particular subject was to sink the people into a state of total dependence to always look at him, Jesus Christ. And so if, if um, I was, when I'm looking at this particular scripture, why not Jesus told them to look at what they are feeding on daily in terms of the work that they are doing? But he said that, look up unto me and say, give us this day our daily bread. Pray. That you give us this day our daily bread. The emphasis is clear. The focus is clear. And so it's supposed to tell us that no matter what you do, what you dwell on cannot save you unless Christ is at the center of that particular thing. I pray for somebody this morning and I declare that when you put Christ at the center, when God is at the center Amen. of your life, things will transform. Amen. I say things will transform. Amen. I say when God is at the center of everything, things will begin to change around. Amen. Things will begin to turn around. Things will begin to transform. Amen. When you put God at the center, then it means that you have really invited him to be part of your journey. I pray that in these 50 days, you are going to invite God to be at the center of that marriage. Amen. You are going to invite God to be at the center of that business. Amen. You are going to invite God to be at the center of that ministry. Amen. In your home, God will be at the center. God is going to be at the center. When yes. Christ is at the center, nothing can come down. Nothing can fall. When you invite him, let's look at the case of Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was a man by scripture 
was defined by his stature. He was short. He was short. But at the end of the day, he employed to go and stand on the sycamore tree. And look at the focus. Immediately, Jesus got there and looked at Zacchaeus. Bible said that Christ turned his eyes because he was looking down. When we look down, Christ look up to us. When we lift up our eyes, Christ also look up to us to give us a helping hand. I pray for somebody this morning yeah. and I declare that wherever you are, the state of your life, I don't care. One thing that I care about is that Christ is ever ready yes. to give you a helping hand. Uh. Anybody stumbling in your life, I declare that Christ is ever ready to give you a helping hand. Amen. May God give somebody a helping hand. Amen. May God give somebody a helping hand. Amen. I said, may God give somebody a helping Amen. hand. Christ is ever ready to help you. And so he said that when you pray, say that give us this day our daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread. It may not make sense to us in our day when we are talking about bread because bread is accessible everywhere. Let us step into the street. Let us go into the shopping mall. Bread are abundant everywhere that we find ourselves. Everywhere that you get to, you can get agege bread somewhere. You can get OA bread somewhere. You can get beef foster bread somewhere. But when we, are, when we are looking at this scripture historically, the Israelites or the Jews, it was their main delicacy. Without bread, they cannot survive. It was a staple. It was a precious commodity that when they do not have it, it means that they are, they, they, they are going to even die. They wallow in abject poverty and they die. But now, bread is accessible to us. So, someone will say that when you are talking about bread, say bread is here and you're not. But I came to speak of a typology of this kind of bread in our contemporary times by the work we do, by the things we engage in, that when we commit it to God daily, the Lord gives us that daily provision. My prayer for somebody is that when you lay your ministry on the line with God, God will be at the center to give you that elevation. I said God will be at the center to give you that elevation. When you lay that marriage at the center, God will give you that elevation. God will give you that divine acceleration. It will happen. It will work for you when you put Christ at the center. It is a precious commodity that without it, they cannot live. They cannot live. And so when, he, when we look at the life of, of the Israelites or the Jews, when they went into captivity, they struggled a lot. Anytime they do not have bread, anytime they do not have the divine provision of God, they murmur at God and say that they don't serve a living God. In our Christian life, it is the same. When there are certain provisions that are not in line, we don't even feel like worshiping God. Why is it that I have served God so many years of my life, but I am not getting what I'm supposed to get? But there are certain questions that we need to ask, uh, ask ourselves. How total dependent are we for us to be able to receive the overflow of what Christ wants for us? How dependent are we? How dependent are we? That we can labor everything at his feet and say that all, all that I have, all that I have gotten is for thee. And so God look at it and make my life better for me to get an overflow. For me to get an overflow. They dwell in the camp and always when they do not get bread to eat, they mama at God. My prayer for somebody is that you will not mama at God. You will not mama at God. You will not mama at God. No matter what God has entrusted in your hands, when he asks of you, when you give it back to him, there will be a translation. I declare, may God give somebody a translation. May God give somebody a translation. May God give somebody a translation. You'll be transformed. You'll be transformed. Bible said, I give and it shall be given back unto you. For what measure do you give it back unto God? That is what God is going to look at it to double your steps for you. The measure. The measure. And so they had what they had. At the end of the day, when they were not getting the manna anymore, they mama at God. When they were not getting the divine provision, they mama at God. 
when they were not receiving that overflow, they questioned the state of the God they serve. But I came to prophesy and I came to profess that we believe and we serve a living God who provides yesterday, who will provide today, and who will provide in the future. I declare, may God provide for somebody now. I said, may God provide for somebody now. May God provide for somebody now. The Lord will provide. The Lord will provide. We don't serve a dead God. We serve a living God. We serve a living God. And so no matter the state in which you are, we will not be like the Jews. We will not be like the Israelites, but we will focus and say that, yes, we know the God that we have encountered. And at the end of the day, our God shall supply all our needs. Our God shall supply all our needs. I said, our God shall supply all our needs and add his riches in glory. Oh, may the riches of God raise somebody now. I said, may the riches of God raise somebody now. May the riches of God raise somebody now. Receive the glory and the riches of God. It was a major delicacy. Without that provision, they cannot live. And so when God or Jesus Christ is modeling the people to pray that prayer that give us, then it means that he was employing them to enter into a state of abundance by the divine supply. My number one point is that be diligent with your work. Say be, be diligent with your work. Say be diligent with your work. Say be diligent with your work. Say to your neighbor, be diligent with your work. God cannot bless anybody who is not diligent with their work. God will not supply to anybody who is not diligent with their work. And so when we, when we look at this scripture, many Christians will say that, oh, after I have prayed this prayer, it means that by who or who God will answer, let me go to bed. But this same scripture will test us of our ability of diligence. I pray, if God is looking for somebody in that, in that corporate world to bless, yes. out of a diligent work, Aye. oh, may it be a Palestinian. I said, may it be a Palestinian. I said, may it be a Palestinian. I said, may it be a Palestinian. May God never bypass your hard work. Yes. May God never bypass your hard work. Yes. May God never bypass your hard work. Yes. When you are diligent with your work, God will look at it to bless you. When they say go to work at 8 a.m., don't go to work at 9.30. You are late. You are not diligent. If any prayer can be answered, God will answer your prayer based on your management level. What you cannot manage, God will not give it to you. Whatever you cannot manage, don't go to God and ask for. So many people of us, many of us, we pray certain prayers, believing God will answer, but our level of diligence and management is questionable. Ask your neighbor, are you diligent enough? Are you diligent enough to receive of the Lord what you are supposed to receive? Many people are asking God for one million dollars. When God blesses you with one million dollars, diligently, what, what will you do with one million dollars? Every prayer will be answered. Every prayer will be given based on your management level. You want to get married, but when you, when you boil water, it gets burnt. And where? How would the marriage come? The marriage come, the marriage will come when you learn how to boil water very well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm a I say, how would the marriage come? The marriage will come when you learn how to boil water very well. May God give you that grace. Amen. Hey, I said, may God give you that grace. Amen. May God affect your management level. Amen. I said, may God affect your management level. Amen. From this hour, I pray that grace that you'll be organized. Amen. I said, you'll be organized. Amen. I said, you'll be organized. Amen. I said, you'll be organized. Amen. You will manage things very well. Amen. I pray for that grace. Yes. That may you manage things very well. Amen. 
Jesus met three people and gave them talent. One, he gave five. One, he gave two. One, he gave one. The one who was diligent with his work invested the five and got double. The one who was also diligent invested the two and got double. The one who was not diligent said that the master is shrewd and cruel and he hid it. He hid the talent. He lacked foresight, number one. Number two, he lacked management. Number three, he lacked confidence. Number four, he lived in fear. Number five, he did not have any relationship with the master. He didn't have any relationship with the master. This is the equation. When you walk with God and God has adjusted something in your hands, you go back to the maker for the maker to manage it well for you. Can we go deeper in scripture? In Exodus chapter 4, Bible said that when Moses was going before the wicked king, he was holding just a stick. The moment God said, give me that stick, and he handed over the stick to the floor, Bible said that the power and the might of God came upon the stick and it became a weapon. I pray the little management you have in your hand, the little skill you have in your hand, the little talent you have in your hand, when you give it back to God, may the power of God, may the the mind of God, yes. may the hand of God yes. come upon it for a translation. Amen. It will become a weapon. Amen. Shout, it will become a weapon. Yes. Shout, it will become a weapon. Shout, it will become a weapon. Yes. It will become a weapon. It doesn't matter how little it is. One thing I know is that when God comes and steps into the equation, he will give you that transformation that you are looking for. Amen. I pray for somebody at this yes. hour and I declare that may you receive that transformation Amen. and be diligent in your work. Yes. Be diligent in your work. Yes. Be diligent in your marriage. Yes. Be diligent in your ministry. Yes. Be diligent in whatever God has placed yes. in your hands. And you shall receive abundance of grace. Amen. Are you here? Yes. Are you here? Yes. Number two is the subject of prayer. He told them, when you pray and say that, give us this day, then it means that you have stepped into a state of authority. You are commanding heaven to respond to you. You are commanding heaven to respond to you. You are commanding heaven to respond to you. Give us this day. It is not a suggestion. It is a call from a core believer for someone who has relationship with God saying that I am demanding my divine provision and it must be given. Any child who cries in these 50 days and say God give me divine provision. I declare may God answer. I say may God answer. I say may God answer. I say may God answer. Amen. It is not. It is not a suggestion. There are certain emphasis in scripture that gives us authority as Christians to assess what belongs to us. So Genesis chapter 1 verse 27, when God was making that pronouncement, he said that be fruitful and multiply. It is not a suggestion. It is something that he was genetically wiring us for divine mandate to multiply. Can I prophesy? I prophesy because you were a child of God. I prophesy you will be fruitful. I said you will be fruitful. Somebody is not hearing me. I said you will be fruitful and you will multiply. Not once, yes. not twice, yes. but abundantly. Yes. Oh, may somebody receive multiplicity. Amen. I said, may somebody receive multiplicity. Amen. I said, may somebody receive multiplicity. Amen. I said, may somebody receive fruitfulness. Amen. You will multiply. Yes. It is not a suggestion. So when he was giving them mandate, he was telling them that this is your actual position. When you come, press the button to say, Give us. In these 50 days, we are pressing the button to demand whatever belongs to us. Oh. There are certain satisfaction that we need to have in life and it must not come at the time that we are going on pension. 
It must not come. At the time that we are going on pension, I work in the bank for 11 years. And one of the things that I found so strange was that any time people are going on pension, that is when they are struggling to come and take facility to go and build. Especially men and women in uniform in this country. I will not mention because the next time I'll see the, 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 the ammo car outside and say, hey, you are speaking against our profession and they'll come and carry me away. What am I saying? For many years, they will sit comfortably in these institutions and they will do nothing towards their retirement until they are moving out. Are you here? Yes. Am I communicating? Yes. And so, one of the things that I realize is that then there is something the believer can do. And it is written in scripture. Bible said that a short work I, the Lord, I will do with you. Not a long work. So it means that if somebody can build at 60 years, somebody can be at 25 years and it is still accessible. Am I communicating? Yes. Am I communicating? Yes. Once somebody can get at 60 years, somebody can get that same thing at 25 years. Oh, we thank God for this enlightenment. Oh. And I stand on this holy altar yes. and I declare, yes. may the Lord do a short work with you. Amen. Hey, I said, may the Lord do a short work with Amen. you. I said, may the Lord do a short work with Amen. you. It will surprise you. It will surprise you. A short work the Lord is going to do with you, not a long work. And so, the number two is for you to be diligent in your prayer life. Having known this in mind, you go to God daily with your supplication. Bless the work of my hands. Bless the work of my hands. Can I quote Psalm 60 verse 14? David prayed in distress and said, Oh God, satisfy me early that I may rejoice all the days of my life. Satisfy me early. You want to declare, lift up your hands and declare, satisfy me early. Oh Lord, satisfy me early. Let me hear you, let me hear you. Oh Lord, oh Lord. let me hear you. Oh Lord, oh Lord. satisfy me early that I may rejoice all the days of my life. Let somebody stand and say it like you mean it. I said, Oh Lord, satisfy me early that I may rejoice all the days of my life. One more time, Oh Lord, satisfy me early. That I may rejoice all the days of my life. Slap your hands to Jesus. Slap your hands. A diligent man is the one who commits his or her work daily into the hands of God in prayer. A diligent man is the one who commits his or her work daily into the hands of God. The child of God will not do anything unless they inquire what the Lord wants from them. So before you are stepping out from your home, you are praying, may your daily provision come to me. Before you are stepping out in your car, you are praying, may your daily provision be accessible unto me. I pray yes. that in these 50 days, whatever you are believing God for, yes. by the time you step out from your house, it will be at the door waiting yes. for you. As we are even leaving this auditorium, yes. your miracle will be waiting for you. Yes. I say your testimony will be waiting for you. Yes. I say your miracle will be waiting for you. Yes. I say your testimony will be yes. waiting for you. A diligent man is the one who buries him or herself in prayer because without God, you cannot make any impact. Without God, you cannot make any impact. Papa, when I was in the bank, we were dealing with sales. I was, I was with the loans department and uh, what we call relationship management. And the sales, we do sales with targets. And I remember so well in one of my meetings, I had left the bank to go on a retreat and after the meeting, I'm going to resume work. And they called me from the house and said that, Osofo, there is a cell made of 
almost about 560,000 Ghana cities made on your stock. And I said, me. The moment I said me, the Lord said, keep quiet. Because I was in red. And if I don't get that justification of that 560, it is likely I may lose my position. The moment I said me, the Lord said, keep quiet. And the person started to speak. There was this sale that came from Ghana Airport. Somebody bought a mortgage, whatever. I said, oh, okay, okay, okay. Let them process it. And they credited the thing. And they sent the file to my office with my name and everything written on it. How did it happen? It happened because I left the space because I was drowning. I needed to see the face of God. And God added it. I declare, yes. I don't know the state oh. where you are. I don't know the level yeah. where you are. But one thing I know, yes. that we serve a living God. Wow. If you are going down, yeah. may God lift you up. Yeah. If you are going down, yeah. may God lift you up. Yeah. There is a lifting up. Yeah. There is a paradigm shift. Yes. There is a lifting up. Yeah. There is a paradigm shift. Yes. May God turn things in your favor. Amen. God will turn things in your favor. In these 50 days, yes. you will not complete the 50 days yes. without seeing the face and the mind of God. Amen. He will supply your daily bread. Amen. I said God will provide. Amen. I said God will provide. Amen. Number three is the subject of your sacrifice. What is your sacrifice? The psalmist says that what will I give to God that will not cost me? What? What will I give to God that will not cost me? My lifetime, I have decided to give my life to God. I have decided to give my life to God. You work in a good company. You work in a good establishment. And the Lord tells you that, come out of that establishment and go and do my work. In this modern day Ghana, Abrabaya day, now she will sweat. Why here, do my Bob do baby? The Lord said, come back to the training room and let me train you. But let me submit to you. In every state of sacrifice, until you die, you cannot live. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say it again? Yes. I said in every state of sacrifice until you die, you cannot live. Ah. And so you must die to self. You must die to your emotions. You must die to certain feelings of life and know that with God in the equation, certainly I shall live. Yes. Can I prophesy? I prophesy. Yes. If you would die in these 50 days, yes. if you would die in these 50 days, yes. you shall live. Amen. If you would die in these 50 days, yes. you shall resurrect. Amen. If you would die in these 50 days, yes. you shall live. Amen. I prophesy that may God rest May God restore. May God restore. May God restore. May God restore. Not just restoration, but abundant restoration. Maybe a person now. I said, maybe a person now. Maybe a person now. Without sacrifices, we cannot see the divine supply that God wants for us. Can we go deeper? Yes. When we get to the home of the widow in Zarafta, Bible said that when the prophet got to the home of the widow, the prophet said, bake me a bread. And afterwards, I will tell you what God has delivered unto me to be given unto you. The first reaction of the woman was very humanistic. It is understandable. I do not have a lot. It has left with a little of flour, a little of oil. Look at the emphasis. She said that after baking bread tonight and eating with my son, then we die. Then we die. After baking bread and eating it this hour, then we are going to do what? We are going to die. It is true. 
Sometimes we get to a level in life that we only have the little. But because of our humanistic sentiments, we still want to hold on onto it. Even if we die, we don't care. But child of God, hear me. If you serve a God of abundance, if you serve a God of multiplicity, you cannot die with a little in your hands without any establishment. Until you sacrifice what you have, you are not permitted to die without getting any divine establishment. The woman said, if you have spoken in that dimension, then I will make you a bread. Then I will put this God of yours to test. And if your God comes true for me, then I know that yes, indeed, I have died and your God has resurrected me at another point. And Bible said that she baked the bread. And when she baked the bread for the prophet, Bible said that the prophet declared, for the flour of oil will not go dry. That is the number one prophecy. The, the oil, the flour, the jar of flour will not go dry. The pot of oil will also not run dry until God is going to rain rain upon the land. Oh, can I prophesy? Yes, when you sacrifice, yes. it doesn't matter whether it is your little. Yes. It doesn't matter whether it is your last. Yes. Oh, I declare, oh. for you will never run dry, oh. for God will cause you to multiply. Yes. Can I prophesy? Yes, I prophesy yes, that little money in your account, oh. you will not go bankrupt, yes. for God shall fill your account. Yes. Can I prophesy? Yes. When you give your all to God, yes. God will bring that elevation. Amen. When you bring your all to God, yes. God will give you that multiplicity. Amen. Can you pray in two minutes? Yes. Lift up your voice and pray that, oh God, multiply my sacrifice. Yes. Oh God, multiply my sacrifice. Yes. Lift up your voice and pray. Take your seat, let me finish in 10 minutes. Then we stand to pray. On the subject of sacrifice, I told you that until you die, you cannot live. Until you die, you cannot live. Many years ago, a man of God came to the National Theater, our National Theater. Everybody knows National Theater. Do you know National Theater? A man of God came to National Theater and uh, I had closed from work and there was a service going on there. 
And when we were about closing the service, I was at the far back. Normally when I go to church, I sit at the far back. And the man of God said, he feels God telling him that we should empty our pocket and put it on the altar. Like the woman in Zarafta, your first reaction, how will you go home? How will you go home? Those of us that we don't have car, I had closed from work. I was managing a branch at that time at what we call it, pig farm. And I took only 300 Ghana CDs to church. Papa, after paying for my Uber driver and going to church, I had my 300. And when the man of God said that uh, we should bring our substance, empty ourselves, the whole national theater was quiet. Meanwhile, when the man was preaching, everybody was everywhere. Everybody was everywhere. I am very observant when we come to the when it comes to the things of God, especially the declaration that comes from men of God. The man of God was emphatic. The Lord said we should empty ourselves, and this was number one prophecy. God was going to give us double for what we had given. Number two, what we are desiring for, whether it is building, whether it is any property, whether it is any car you want to buy, I check myself, I check my bank account, and I realize that when we are talking of money to buy a house, me, I don't have. When we are looking for money to buy a car, me, I don't have. For this is the declaration of the Lord. Put that money down, and I, the Lord, I will do it in three weeks. And the whole church was quiet. I was there, the Lord said, stand up and go. When I was going, my mind was, hey, Nasa Theater to Tema, it is not easy. This is my own story, oh. National Theater. The man of God came from Nigeria and was declaring like nobody's business. I went there. So we were only about six people that stood in the line. And we put the thing down. And he declared, prophesied. Three weeks down the line, I got the invitation to go and minister in the U.S. for the first time. Why? In that ministration, in that ministration, the man of God even intimidated me, did not pay me what was due me. Papa, in that ministration, I never took seed. I never took any offering. The Lord said, preach, for I will bring people to come and look at your ministration. And people came from other churches. They invited me to other places. One service, I was about closing. The Lord said, turn put the money in your pocket. Give it back to the church. You sold your books. Give it back to the church. I said, Papa, I will not do it. That was my first time I had prayed a prayer with the church. I was not with the church. You, you have traveled. Your father is on the sick bed. You know your father is going to die. And the books that you have sold for your father's mortuary fee, the Lord said, put it down and I will bless you. One gave. So I turned to the people and I said, stand up, let us pray this prayer. The Lord said, we should pray a covenant prayer for our family members. And I turned to the altar and I said, God, can you reduce the money for me? Can I give the church $100? Then I keep $150 for my mother. And the Lord said, Charles, if you want me to bless you, empty your pocket and I, the Lord, I will bless you. National Theater, the blessing has not come. Hey, Columbus, Ohio, another empty your pocket. Which one? And when is the blessing going to come? I dropped my seat down. And the Lord said, now turn to my people and declare to them, anybody that give me 10, I will give them double. When I started that declaration, yeah, 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 but sorry, we were not more than 30 people. If I've ever ministered in outside countries, they don't come to church. Everybody's going to chase the dollar. At the end of the service, Papa, the church recorded $16,800. And I'm talking about a Ghanaian, a Ghanaian biggest church in Ohio then at that time. The big, big pastors from this country have been there. And one night they raised this money. In that meeting, somebody gave me a car. In that meeting, I got $16,900 when I was coming back to Ghana. How much did I give to God? $250, and the Lord bought the multiplicity. Sometimes, your sacrifices, if you do not die, you cannot live. If you do not die, you cannot live. And when the man of God said, from that time, as I am speaking from National Theater, when we close the service, now reality has set in. When I touch my pocket, how will I go to Tema? I look at your face. Mm, this one, let me proceed. 
when I look at your face, this one, it's like it's going to our worship. Not near mine. One of the things that I know well to do is to do prayer work. I started praying from National Theater. Vandala Baba Airport Fest. Katele Atele Atuse. By, by 10.45, 15 minutes to 11 p.m., I was at, what do we call it? Accra Mall. From National Theater. A banker with no car. A banker with no car. I walked from National Theater. To, to where? Accra Mall. And Papa, when I got there, the first reaction that came, somebody said, Tama, my first question, which one? Is it the one that I'm going to pay for or the one that I will sit inside free? In this country, do you do things for free? So I was standing by somewhere and the guy approached me. I said, Master, now I'm going And I'm saying, I'm going to go Tama. I'm going to go Tama. And he said, oh, I'm going your way. Where are you going? I'm going to come tonight. He said, you just sit down. Let us go. And I sat down. When I sat down, because I was wet, the guy had air condition on. And I was freezing. You know, that air condition that can get to your guts. When somebody, and the person was playing cool, was playing jazz. I said, oh, God, give me this kind of car. Mommy, when you give me this car, I will not, I will, I will not, I will not listen to this song. I'll play, play gospel song. I was in a car. The guy drove me to my mother's place where I was living community nine. He dropped me there. Papa turning back to look at where the guy was. The guy was nowhere to be found. It was after that three weeks I entered into America for the first time. And things turned around for me. I Things turn around for me. Yes. Can I prophesy? Professor. In these 50 days, Aye. in these 50 days, yes. God will turn things around. Yes. I said, God will turn things around. Yes. I said, God will turn things around. Yes. God will turn things around. Yes. Yes. Oh. It doesn't matter. What matters is your heart. Do it for God, for God to bless you. You are so ungrateful. When God blesses you, there was a guy that we were praying with those days, and he was always will be the first person to be at the church. And this guy was believing God for job. The moment that multi-million dollar company job opened, the guy started to make excuses. Come to church. Oh, Baba, I'm in a board meeting. I'm in a board meeting. I said, okay, let us pray one prayer. The day the board meeting will debord you, you will come here for us to also debord you. Because sometimes we are, we, are, we are ungrateful. We come to church believing God for certain sacrifices, for certain gifts, and when God brings it, we decide to forget about him and not go for the divine supply. I pray for you today. Yes. And I declare that for any diligent man oh. who always goes seeking for the door yeah. of the Lord. Any diligent man yeah. who always go to seek for the door of the Lord. Yes. My last testimony, number two, is the man's prophecy that he prophesied. Out of the 300, the 300 Ghana I laid on the altar that night in tears, and I walked to, uh, to Akramo, the man said, you are going to have properties. We have come as graduates from the university. And everybody's desire within the bank was to go for mortgage facility to build. And any time I tried to go and assess one, the Lord said, it is not for you. And I said, why? The Lord said, I will let you understand. I said, I cannot understand. This is my friend I came from Kia University with. He has gone for his facility 25 years. He's gone to uh, buy the property, three bedroom house at this place. They have started life. Anytime I go to assess mine, the Lord said, It is not for you. This is a bank, a foreign bank. A foreign bank, they give us money left to my center. Anytime I go for property, the Lord said, No, it is not for you. That night when I saw the seed, and I came back from the U.S. The Lord brought somebody to me and said, Osofo, I have a land somewhere for you that you can buy at this price. I went there. I looked at the land. And when I stood in the land, Hello? 
when I stood in the land, my ear came, take it, take it, and they, they quoted the size, and I was standing there. And the Lord said, I will give this land to you. And the man of God said, anything that you require on any property, the Lord will give that provision to that extent that you will not cough money from your pocket. It shall be established. Hey! hey. When I check myself, my brother went to take the loan. 25 years. 25 years. I have left the bank. Oh, now the person is still stuck in the bank. Papa, I'm going to turn because the person must finish paying the loan before the person can leave. And the Lord brought grace. I bought that land. I started building. Within six months, everything was done to its perfect condition. Yeah. Do you know the strange thing? The kind of money they took from the bank. The kind of money they took from the bank. <laughs> My property was built lesser, nicer, bigger than what they took from the bank. You don't understand. <laughs> you don't understand. They took property over 400,000 Ghana cities. And they are going to pay over 25 years. And anybody's house that I have been, anybody's house, who bought a house that I have been, they can pack only two cars. Three bedroom, two cars. Three bedroom, two cars. Nobody's house can pack three cars. For over 400,000 cities, paying, to, paying, paying for 25 years. I built my house, four bedroom house. My house can pack 35 cars. Me, me, oh, look at me well. Me, 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 me. My house can pack 35 cars. My house is four bedroom. I can pack 35 cars. I can build even on that land where I can pack those 35 cars. Twice their land, they are, they are building on that particular land. And it was lesser than 400,000 Ghana cities. What am I saying? Can I prophesy? Prophesy. I prophesy. Yeah. If the Lord multiplies our water and our bread. Yeah. I said if the Lord multiplies our water yeah. and our bread. Yes. May God multiply your water. Yeah. And may God back your bread. Amen. I said, may God butter your bread. Amen. May God butter your bread. Amen. May God butter your bread. Amen. In this meeting, Amen. you will not live yeah. without your bread being buttered. Amen. I prophesy. Amen. May God butter your bread. 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 You are going to butter your bread. I am looking for 50 people tonight, this hour, who are believing God, that God, I want to step in a certain dimension of my life. What will cause many people, many years to do, you will do it at a split second. Amen. With no sweat. I said I am looking for 50 people who will stand in the gap with me this hour, with a seed of 500 Ghana cities, I'm waiting for you. Just come here. Can you play something for me? 50 people, I am waiting for you. Who will stand in the gap right now and say, God, I want to look at this sacrifice. As I die to this seed, may I be lifted. May I be lifted. Stand here for me. I'm looking for 50 people. Jesus, Jesus, how I love you. How I've proved you more and more Jesus, Jesus Come on, I'm waiting for you Precious Oh, for grace Come on Jesus, Jesus Come on, let's do it unto God If you don't die not be lifted. If you don't die, if you don't die, you cannot live. 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 If you don't die, you cannot 
cannot leave. Come. We are waiting for you. 50 people. Just to 50 people. You want to believe God for that miracle. His word. You want to believe God for that testimony. Just when you say it cannot get to that point. When you labor, it cannot get to that point. But there is a God that helps. There is a God that helps. There is a God that helps. The Lord sees so sweet. I'm waiting for you, 50 people. Trust. I'm waiting for you, 50 people. This is prophetic, and you want to do it unto God. It will not be your last. His word. It will not be your last. Just but you are tapping it into a divine supply. Oh, Lift up yourself and come. We are waiting for you. 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 That says the Lord. Jesus. Jesus. I'm waiting for you. 50 people. The Lord said, 50 people, I am waiting for you. Heal and all. Oh, Jesus. The Lord will bring grace. 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 I know what the Lord said. The Lord will bring grace. Everybody lift your voice and say, Jesus. came to call me and I was coming back there was a guy sitting on that floor there was a guy sitting on that floor that room there was a guy sitting there there were guys where you the one sitting on the floor come the Lord said I should give you that 500 Ghana cities to step in for your life to be transformed to step in for your life to be transformed you are sitting on the floor if there is a God who elevates man like the way God has elevated me, yeah. God will elevate you. Yeah. I was about to lift a prayer up when the Lord said, that guy that was sitting there, I made you watch him. Give your 500 to him. And watch him very well. God is going to elevate you. Amen. Out of sacrifice, out of service, God will bring that elevation. Amen. I am waiting for you for the last time in just two minutes. If you want to be part of this prophetic direction, join us right now. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. I know what the Lord said. 50 people, it will not kill you. It will not drown you. But it will elevate you for your next level. There is going to be a switch in the atmosphere. There is going to be a paradigm shift you can never even imagine. I am waiting for you for the last time in two minutes. Oh, for grace to try. If you are online, you want to join us, that is the portal. You can join us right now. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. 
Jesus. Precious Jesus. Lift up your hands. Let us pray. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Those in front, lift up your hands. Let us I am waiting for you if you can join before I say this prayer and I declare on God's people. Jesus. Jesus. How I trust you. How I prove you. for you Jesus Jesus oh, oh, oh Jesus Jesus, Jesus. How I trust you How I hope I hope and oh Jesus Jesus pray Lift up your hands. Father, by obedience, your people have responded to your call. They die to self. They die to emotions. They die to whatever that they are struggling with. That you shall give them a lifting up. By this direction, I declare that God bring rising. God bring grace for elevation. Lead your people to that realm of grace that you shall cause them to be fortified. We give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If your seed is here, you can drop it. If it's not here, you find a way to drop it. Slap your hands to Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust. Say how I prove it all and all. Say Jesus. Rise on to your feet. Rise on to your feet. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, for grace to trust you. Lift up your hands if you say, My father, my father. My father, my father. As my hands are lifted. As my hands are lifted. And I slap my hands to pray. And I slap my hands to pray. I pray. I pray. Oh Lord. Slap your hands and pray. Slap your hands and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Nika da baya shata, raba da baya shata, ika ba da baya, raba da baya, ika ba da baya. Iya pata na da ba, iba na da ta da ba. Iya pata ba da, iya pata ba, iba na da ba. Iya kapa, iya kapa, iya da da ba, iya da da ba, iya da da ba, iya kapa da, iya da da ba, iya kapa. Ia pada do, ia kata apa dia? Ia kata hati ia pada, ia kata hati ia pada, ia pada do, ia pada, ia pada, ia pada, ia pada, apa dia do? Ia pada do, ia pada, ia pada, ia pada, ia pada, apa dia do? Ia pada do. Somebody <laughs> Let up your voice. Let up your voice. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Radadaba. Yanadadaba. 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 Radadaya. Ipenadaba. Ikonsatara. Yanadaba. 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 Batama. Batama. Yanadaba. Batama. Batama. Yanadaba. Yeah. 
Corporate world, a uh, uh, glass transparent, but who shall swat me who say, Obedinsa Akika sa table nestle. It is a transparent glass, a witness who say, Unless it's a what to was here share. And the Lord said, These are imprints of people's hand that limit my people from breaking through. And every year, Mammy Katrina, I say, and every year, in Sabiara, and fear, dear, and to who ever can come with you, my in Sam fear, yes, I at the in Sabbath can come with you, my I'm a one word, Janiya Bob, yes, the daily bread we are talking about is what you feed on. It was you, ma'am, no, be percent or this six, and I know nine. In these 50 days, yes, may the Lord bring exposure. Amen. May the Lord expose somebody now. Amen. May the Lord expose somebody now. Amen. Pedawosa, Pedawosa. Yes. Ma wenimbre na bosampa yeyo. 
Can you mention my father, my fighter? My father, my fighter. Get, get Chris, my father, my fighter. My father, my fighter. As my hands are lifted, as my hands are lifted, and I slap my hands to pray, and I clap my hands to pray. I declare, I declare, any demonic hand, any demonic hand, be amputated now, be amputated now, be amputated now, be amputated now. Any evil hand, any evil hand, set on my business, set on my business, set on my marriage, set on my marriage, set on my finances, set on my finances, far flat and die. called Moses. The Bible said the Lord has made a decree. The king had made a decree 
that any male child that they give birth to, they should put them in the Nile and sink them. Because the Egyptians are becoming more powerful than us. It was a decree by the king. Now, I'm sure you, in Syria, you didn't go for two more, a cool one. A brother didn't most a two, so he lived. Are you here? Yes. Are you here? Yes. How did Moses live? Moses lived because there was someone, the king's daughter, came in to say, I want this one. Give that to me. Funny mommy. It was a divine provision. Can I prophesy? Yes. In these 50 days, yes. what sinks people yes. will bring you up. Amen. I said, what drowns people yes. will bring you up. Amen. Oh, can I prophesy? Prophesy. What sinks people will bring you up. Yes. 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 What kills people? What kills people? What drowns people? What does people? I will live. My boss and a vampire. A bad ass and a vampire. He had a pop. A pop. A pop. He had a pop. 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 A
Lift up your hands. The woman of Zarephath said, this is our last meal. After we have finished and we eat, we die. Yes. It will not get to your last bread. In these 50 days, yes. it will never get to your last bread. Amen. Lift up your hands. Say after me, my father, my father. My father, my As father. my hands are lifted. As my prayers are lifted. I declare. I declare. In these 50 days. In these 50 days. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Increase me. 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 Get it will not get there. 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 Your last prayer point, you, I want you to pick up a seed in your hand. Yes, Lord. Pick up a potent seed in your hand. Yes, the Lord. least you can pick is a 50 CD. Make sure you pick a very quality seed in your hand. This is a prophetic direction that you are declaring that God will satisfy you with the fruit of your labor. The fruit of your labor. When, when, when sacrifice is on the altar, it gives the altar permission to speak. You want to prophetically pick a seed in your hand and touch the altar and stand where you are and listen to the prayer point and fire. This is your last cry before we invite daddy to come upon the stage. You are declaring, pick up your seed. If your seed is ready, you can put it on the altar and touch the altar. You want to declare that you shall be satisfied with the fruit of your labor. As your seed fall on the altar at this hour, you want to declare that God favor me. Lord, favor me. Grant unto me that satisfaction. May I be satisfied early enough in my life. Not once, not twice, but all the days of my life. Are you ready? Let us be fast. Let us be fast so that we can fire this prayer. Let us be fast so that we can fire this prayer. If you are standing at your seat, just lift your hands with me and say, Oh Lord, oh Lord. as my hands are lifted, as my hands are lifted. And, my and my seat on the altar, I declare, I declare, satisfaction, 
satisfy me. Satisfy me. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Satisfy me, Eli. Satisfy me, Eli. That I may rejoice. That I may rejoice. All the days. All the days of my life. Of my life. Concern about prayer. Concern about prayer. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Somebody pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your right hand and say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Let it be loud and say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. My Father, my Father. My Father, my Father. I stand before your holy altar. I stand before your holy altar. And I declare. And I declare. I shall not lack. I shall not lack. Shout, I shall not lack. I shall not lack. Put your hands down. Don't forget that the whole of this week we are praying the Lord's Prayer. I said to you, the Lord's Prayer is a pattern. It's a prototype of what we must pray, not a repetition of what it has been written, right? So I've been taking you through what Jesus said that they should pray about. And I said to you that on the fourth day, Jesus said to them, say that Lord give us our daily bread. It talks about supply. Now tonight, I'll be teaching about total dependence on the bread. Are you understanding me? Yes. How you should depend on God for your daily livelihood. So if we touched on some of that, I'll get a bit deeper tonight. And listen, listen. Don't take this fasting and prayers lightly. 
I said to you, we are resolving hard problems. Hard problems. Now listen to you. That is the reason why you've realized that I am not doing counseling this 50 days. Resolve your issues on the altar. If you cannot resolve it here, it cannot be resolved in the office. Are you understanding me? Yes. So when yes. you come here, now listen to me carefully. When you come here and we are praying, you don't want to pray. After you come and queue to see me, you will not find me. It's a promise. You will not find me. Pray on this particular altar. It will work. Are you understanding me? Yes. yes. Are you understanding me? Yes. The power on this altar is bigger than the chair that you sit on in my office. If this altar cannot hear you, I can't hear you. If this altar cannot resolve it, I can't resolve it. If I have time, I will see you, but it's not by force. So when prayer points are raised, pray like crazy. Are you understanding me? Yes. That is why we have three sessions of prayer every day. We have the 11 p.m. session, we have the 12 p.m. session, and we have the 6 p.m. prophetic and then, 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 then prophetic and then prayer session. And I've been ministering to people every evening. I started on Sunday prophesying, praying with you for the very first time. I take mic at 7 p.m. and by 9 on the dot, I'm done. Are you understanding me? Yes. So I have time to preach, I have time to pray, and I have time to prophesy. So if you cannot resolve it in prayer, forget it. There are some of you, you are a shower with God and with the prophet. You only come when you have a problem. You don't want to sacrifice and pray from this altar. It will not work. Charismatic prostitute. Yeah. But you have to pray. Yes. If you are not ready, go and sleep. After 50 days, come and kill. Are you understanding me? Yes. So it's a serious prayers we are praying these 50 days. I have prepared. Give me the book. I have spent night and day to prepare a whole book. A 50 day prayer book for you. Are you understanding me? Yes. 50 day prayer book for you to guide you through these 50 days. And you, have, don't, you don't have a copy. I don't know why you are even fasting with us. Because every prayer point is coming directly from this book. And you need it. We have faith confession, faith declaration. Let's do the faith declaration and we'll pray some few prayers. The faith declaration for total dependence. Oh Lord, give us our daily bread. Lift your right hands up. Shoot it on the screen for me quickly. Shoot it on the screen for me our declaration. Say, my father created the earth. My, my father, father created the earth. And everything in it. And everything in it. I am a child of the king. I am the child of the king. My father... My needs are provided. My needs are provided. The work of my hands are blessed. The work of my hands are blessed. My daily supply. My daily supply. Of bread is assured. Of bread is assured. I want the faith confession on the screen. Let's start again. My father created the earth. My father created the earth. My father created the earth. And everything in it. And everything in it. I am the child of a king. I am a child of a king. My needs are provided. My needs are provided. The work of my hands are blessed. The work of my hands are blessed. My daily supply of bread. My daily supply of bread. Is assured. Is assured. Whatever I touch. Whatever I touch. Is guaranteed. Is guaranteed. So whatever I touch. Whatever I touch is a guaranteed success. It's a guaranteed success. My field shall yield grain. My field shall yield grain. What I touch shall prosper. What I touch shall prosper. My work shall prosper. My work shall prosper. Shout it. Shout. What I work shall prosper. What I work shall prosper. My daily bread. My daily bread shall never cease. Shall never cease. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now convert this declaration into prayer. Lift your voice. Convert this declaration into prayer. Body, 
Guys, doing at the studio there. We okay now. Are you guys focusing on me? Shut in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I thank you. I thank you for your provision. For your provision that has kept me. That has kept you from day one. From day one to now. To now. Shut all oh Lord. Oh Lord. As I clap my hands. As I clap my hands. I thank I thank you for your provision. For your provision. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now watch me. We are in the kingdom. And in this kingdom, we shout when the walls are still standing. Are we communicating here? Yes. yes. You don't give a testimony when you see evidence. You shout out, I am blessed when the evidence is not even there. Are we communicating? Yes. Let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Let the sick say, I am healed. Now listen to me carefully. If you can do this declaration, the Father, thank you for your provision. Even before the provision comes, your provision shall be guaranteed. Amen. Only seven people shouted an amen. Amen. Only seven people shouted an amen. Amen. Now let me stand on this holy altar and declare let over 70 people. Yes, Lord. Even before you step out, yes. God will grant you the answer. Amen. Even before you step out, yes. a prayer will come speedily. Amen. Lift up your voice and shout, Power. Power. Shout, Oh Lord. Oh Lord. I thank you. I thank you. For your provision. For your provision. That has kept me. Has from, kept day from day one. To now. now. Declare. 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 Open your mouth and declare. Open your mouth and declare. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hands up. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. I pray. I pray. That you grant me. That you grant me. My basic needs. My basic needs. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen. Listen to me carefully. What you need in life, your basic needs in life, yeah. is food, water, shelter, and clothing. Asa, are you understanding me? Yes. Yeah. Anything that God gives is bonus. If you are sitting be on your feet, unless you cannot sit. Yes. Are you understanding me? Yes. yes. You, God must provide your, for you your basic needs. Are we communicating here? Yes. yes. The Bible says, give us this day our daily bread. Yes. I don't want to get into the message to prolong the service. But tonight, I'll go deeper. Please don't miss tonight's service. Lift up your hands. Shout in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My father, my father. My father, my father. I pray. I pray. That you grant me. That you grant me. My basic needs. My basic needs. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Clap your hands and begin to pray. May the Lord grant you your basic needs. We grant you your patience. Lift up prayer. My patience Provide, 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 provide. Provide. 
When you see that your children are suffering and begging for food and you cannot provide for them. Some of you, when it's your children's birthday, that is when you begin to quote scriptures. They need cake. Provide cake and provide prayer. But because you don't have money to provide the cake, you begin to become spiritual. Are you understanding me? Yes. May yes. God provide for you. Amen. Some of you, you are not sick. You need vacation. Are you understanding me? Yes. Some of you are not sick. You need vacation. Yes. You need a five-star hotel to sleep. Yes. Are you understanding me? Yes. You, are, you are not sick. It is stress that is making you look like an old woman and an old man. <laughs> okay, some of us. You need a spa. They have to massage your back. Oh, yeah. They have to massage here to, to drop the, the, the stress. Ah. Some of you, when we see you have mood swings, it's not mood swings, so your body is reacting to stress. Oh. You need pampering. Ah. <laughs> Lift up your hand. Shout, oh Lord! Oh Lord. Provide. 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 Clap your hands up. Fire. Fire. Point say, Oh Lord, oh Lord, your word says, Your word says, I shall be hungry, I shall be hungry if I am lazy. If I am lazy, repeat again, say, Oh Lord, oh Lord, your word says, Your word says, I shall be hungry, I shall be hungry if I am lazy. If I am lazy, therefore, therefore, oh Lord, oh Lord, as I work hard, as I work hard, under the words of my hands, say, In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. No work of my hands shall ever fail. Say, Father, as I touch, it shall prosper. Any business venture I lay my hands on shall prosper. Clap your hands and begin to pray. Clap your hands and begin to pray. Fire, 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 f
shall I shall be satisfied. I shall be satisfied with the fruit of my labor. With the fruit of my labor. Shall my labor. My labor shall bring forth la- favor. Shall, shall bring, bring forth favor. favor. Let's begin. Say my shall my labor. My labor shall bring me. Shall bring me favor. Favor. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I shall Jesus. be satisfied. I shall be satisfied with the fruit of my labor. With the fruit of my labor. Shall my labor. My labor shall bring me favor. Shall bring me favor. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I labor, as I labor, favor shall follow me. Favor shall follow me. Fire, 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 this is a very powerful one Shout, I shall not beg. I shall not beg. Shout, my children shall not beg. My children shall not beg. My generation shall not beg. My generation shall not beg. Let's go again. Say, I shall not beg. I shall not beg. My children shall not beg. My children shall not beg. My generation shall not beg. My generation shall not beg. Now watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. What you are doing is just like me picking you up and telling you, you shall not beg. And then you shall I receive it. That's what we are doing. Because this is an inspired word that I have written it down in a book. So it's just like calling you and prophesying to you. So every prayer point is prophecy. You'll be shocked that through this prayer point, you'll, be, you'll receive healing. Amen. Last year, during our 50 days of fasting and prayer, same thing happened. Our, I was having morning service and evening service. You remember, right? Now, a lady who had cancer stage four in America. This lady did not follow us. So in January, when we started trending and all that, what happened was that a friend shared my, 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 my video and she went to my page to watch me and said, ah, do we still have men of God like this in this house? Now look at what happened. She went to watch all the videos, locked herself up in the room for three days, prayed all the prayers we are praying here are a chum. ex prayers. She prayed all, and after that, all the direction that was given in the 50 days. Meanwhile, there were people here who did not receive a miracle. What did she do? Now she picked water and dipped her hand in the water and drank. And she said, The grace that works in prayer palace, let it work for me. She did that on Friday, no, Saturday, went to the hospital on Monday. Cancer has disappeared. Yes. Now, watch me. She went to another hospital. The doctor said, your body has never recorded cancer before. Oh. There is no symptoms of cancer. There is no trace of cancer in your body. Are we communicating here? Yes. I did not prophesy to her. I don't know her. I have not seen her before. From the altar she declared, and God heard her cry and healed her. Hear me carefully. If you do this declaration, oh. yes. your children will never beg for bread. Amen. You shall never beg for bread. Amen. Shall I shall not beg. I shall not beg. My children shall not beg. My children shall not beg. My generation shall not beg. My generation shall not beg. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. We shall not beg. We shall not beg. Let me hear you begin to pray. A pari ado, iya kato. A pari ho, iya dado. A pari ho, iya dado. A pari ho. Ya 
In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. Say, Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Give me the wisdom. Give me the wisdom. To sow seeds. To sow seeds. That will perpetuate my bread supply. That will perpetuate my bread supply. Say, In the name of Jesus. In the name, In the name of, of Jesus. Wisdom from above. Wisdom from above. To sow seeds. To sow seeds. That will perpetuate. To it. That that will perpetuate my bread supply. My bread supply. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now let's move to the next prayer point quickly. Let's move to the next prayer point. Say, Oh my God. Oh my God. Make me a kingdom financier. Make me a kingdom financier. Are you here? Yes. He said, I will give a, a seed to the sower. Seed to the sower. So if you pray and tell God that make me a kingdom financier, automatically he brings seed into your hand. Are you understanding me? Yes. It is a strategy. It is a strategy. Are you understanding me? Yes. yes. Strategy number one. You know. You know you want to stay in a foreign land. You know. You cannot just go and grab a passport. It doesn't work. You use strategy. You get into the system. You go to school. From school, you have your uh, work permit. From work permit, you have your passport. It's a strategy. True or false? True or false? True. You can't go and apply for a passport from Ghana. Oh, I want American passport. You go to American numbers, give me your passport. You'll be banned for 10 years. Are you understanding me? Yes. Strategy. They know. They know. They know. Most of the people who come for visa, they will not come back. They know. They know. But there's a strategy. If you use wrong strategy, you are doomed. In the same way, God knows that you, you want money. But you, want, you have to use the right strategy. Are you understanding me? Yes. God's heartbeats are kingdom financiers. That is his heartbeat. God, he knows that you want money. He knows you want to prosper. But if you can position yourself as a kingdom financier, he will give you the resources required. Yeah. Amen. There is a phrase, be, you say, on yam, a drone, yum, a drone, yeah, a drone, shamano, a yede, a be born, a be born, a be right? You on yam, in Katia, ah, a yede, a peanut. Anya, kakrabe, kane, so better free. So if you become a kingdom financier, ge 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 ale ge ge, you go chop some. Amen. <laughs> like those who those who do NGO, I am Oh, we are doing NGO. It's a lie. It's a strategy to yeah, chop money. money. Lift up your hands. Shout in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Make me a kingdom financier. Make me a kingdom financier. Shout oh Lord. Oh Lord. Make me a kingdom financier. Make me a kingdom financier. Say oh Lord. Oh Lord. Make me a kingdom financier. Make me a kingdom financier. Grant me. Grant me. The bakery anointing. The bakery anointing. To make bread available. To make bread available. For others. Clap your hands and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. The next prayer point, Father, grant me profit from the market mm. and promotion from the office. Are you understanding me? Yes. In the market, grant me profits. And in my office, grant me promotion. promotion. Can you pray this prayer? Yes. Listen, be very serious and pray. Lift up your hands. So, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Grant me profit. Grant me profit. In my market. In my market. And promotion. And promotion. In my office. In my office. So, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the marketplace. In the marketplace. I shall have profit. I shall have profit. In my workplace. In my workplace. I shall have provision. I shall have provision. Clap your hands and begin to pray. Shooting, he had a father, 
Shoot me the next prayer point quickly. Rabba Dabaya. Give me the next prayer point. Lift up your right hand. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I thank you. I thank you. For a victorious life. For a victorious life. You have given me. You have given me. Shout, oh Lord. Oh Lord. I thank you. I thank you. For a victorious life. For a victorious life. Say, Lord. Lord. I shall be victorious. I shall be victorious. In this 50 days of victory. In this 50 days of victory. I enforce my victory. I am forced my victory. Shout louder. I am forced my victory. I am forced my victory. Shout, I am forced my victory. I am forced my victory. Shout, I am forced my victory. I am forced my victory. I shall be victorious. I shall be victorious. Never again. Never again. Will I struggle? Will I struggle? Never again. Never again. Will I see pain? Will I see pain? Never again. Never again. Will I see shame? Will I see shame? I am Enforce my victory. I enforce my victory. Clap your hand for Jesus. Wow. Lift up your two hands above your head. Say, Father. Father. I live. I live. With power. With power. With oil. With oil. With anointing. With anointing. With grace. With grace. With abundance. With abundance. With prosperity. With prosperity. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Move to 30 people. Look into their eye. And tell that person, look at me very well. This is the last time you shall see me like this. I shall be victorious. I shall be powerful. I shall be great. I shall be hoodious. Come on, talk to 30 people. Talk to 30 people. Talk to 30 people. Come on. <laughs> talk to them. Shabbat shabbat. I said 30. If you did less than 30, you have missed a breakthrough. I do more, 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 so the essence of my praise, come on, let's sing it, is centered on your grave, uh, I do I do I do everybody say, I do more. I don't mean to know me till I see I hear what I don't mean to know me won't go So the essence of my praise Is centered on you I do more, I do more One more time say I do more, I do more Everybody I do more I don't mean to know me till I see I hear what I don't mean to know me won't go So the essence of my praise Centered on your grave. Yeah. Abdo, Abdo, we have come in the name of, in the mighty name of. Yeah. Heaven listens to uh, when we call on G. Take your seat. Amen. We're going to close very early today. We are done. So that we'll have time and come in the evening. Right. Because evening is going to be prophetic. It's going to be powerful. Shall we clap our hand for <laughs> Prophet Charles Chumisi? Powerful. Amen. They are holding the fort in Canada. Doing a great job. Organization. Everything. Those who watch us, you'll see that he leads prayer. Amen. Powerful, powerful, powerful. You cannot be our product now. our boom. In Sita. Amen. Then you are not a product. If you are a product, because pressure will be my own. 
Why would you make an humble? My, my baby never help. <laughs> Shall I? <Yeah. laughs> also, for minister on Saturday. <laughs> uh-huh. See, all the sons, all the pastors will have a session. Yeah. That's an auto bomb. We just make an account. Max, oh, this is Wasting my time and wasting my microphone. Yeah. You can't, you can't follow this ministry for all these years. Follow me and then still come and throw bomb. Jesus is love. Love is Jesus. Up and down, low and down, low key, up kill. Some fun. What time did I send you a message that you are, you are preaching today? At midnight, 1 a.m. He, he didn't even see it. He saw it when he was on. That's why he's dressed like this. He was on the street doing something, and he saw it. And then quickly he came. So I'm sure when he was driving, he started preparing. Yeah, as Pastor Uzo, but sometimes 50 minutes to time, and I'll tell him I'm not preaching. You are preaching. Yeah. Also, for the while lucky, my man, three days. While lucky. What time do sometimes call you that you are, you'll be leading prayer? Sometimes that same day you are in charge and you are the one. Uh huh. This is how I work. So if you are here, you follow me, get ready. I can call you anytime that you are the one doing it. Amen. Amen. This is night day book that has that I've, has, I've brought out for the 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 50 days fast and prayer. It's more powerful than last year's own enforcing my jubilee. It's more powerful than journey to jubilee because day in, day out we grow, day in, day out. We, we, we become more wiser, more deeper. Are you understanding me? And this one has uh, more explanation. For instance, I am breaking down the Lord's Prayer in seven days for you. It's a whole message. Those of who are preachers, keep it. <laughs> are you understanding me? Then we have faith confession underneath, and we have prayer points. Like all the prayers we prayed, it comes strictly from the book. And all the days will be praying strictly from this book. In your own prayer time, you must also pray these prayers. Amen. This is not just for this time. It's also for your lifetime. It's a gift. You must pray it. It should be your prayer manual for the year 2024. Very, very important. Pray them. Pray them. You pray 50 days and you repeat again. You pray 50 days and you repeat. It covers almost everything in the Bible. Right. All the major things you must know, it covers. The ones that you don't have them in it, you check on my journey to Jubilee. It's also there. Right. Now, because we're behind schedule, we had to rush and use one guy who was so expensive. He did this for us, 230 a piece. And that was too much. 230 this. How much, how much will you sell it for? They brought it to my office. I told the team, I can't, I'll, I'll be ashamed to stand and say, buy this for 230. Are you understanding me? So I, tell, I told them that I'm going to bear the cost of 130 Ghana each on it. God is my witness. I will not lie for anything. Are you understanding me? So my focus is for everyone to get it. Everyone to get it. Not for you to make, for, not to, for, for, for me to make profit. Those who buy it on Amazon, I'll make profit. Small profit on it. And those who buy it on all those online platforms, they will buy it. They will buy it for twenty-five dollars. Twenty-five dollars online. That one we can have about five dollars be on it for something. But those in-house and also that is my my base. It's unfair. They are watching me online, but it's unfair. But we have to do it. So it's just hundred Ghana City. I've slashed off sixty percent the cost price. The church will bear. 130 Ghana City on each cost, on each book, sorry, so that everybody will have a copy. Later, when these copies are finished, we'll find somebody who gives us a very good deal so that we don't have to spend 230 Ghana on one copy. Amen. I've written books and written and written and written. This is the one I've paid so much. Amen. So, quickly, if you want a copy, rush forward. Let me give you the copy quickly. It's not pledge. Are you understanding me? Already I've given you 130 discount. You still want to come for pledge? No. Drop it on the altar. Also, for help me. Help me. Quickly. Quickly. Make sure you have one. Make sure you have one. Buy one for a friend. Buy one for a brother. Also, share it for me. Also, come, come, come and help me. 
Help me, help me. Make sure you, you take my money before you give the books out. Quickly. Those sitting, are you not buying? Quickly. Quickly. You will enjoy the book. It's very difficult to have a prophet who is a writer, a prophet who has a word, a prophet who does deliverance. Most prophets, some do deliverance, but they are not into, some do prophetic, but they are not into deliverance. It's, it's not common to have, I'm not saying it's not possible, it's possible, but it's not common to have a prophet who, hey, mama, what's your name? Ah, what's your name? <laughs> I was also another person. I used, it's a long time. From mama not teach over me. Oh, she. We buy my show. I mean, hunger. Sorry. Did you travel? A little bit. Oh, and you, you didn't also leave me your number after service. Give me your number so that I can check up on you. When I was looking for you, I said, Why are you? Why are you? Why are you? I'm going to come to Bridgeley. Amen. Some of you, I know you by face. Make yourself visible so that when I come to church, I will be looking out for you. Some of you are not visible. Pray, you will not pray. Clap, you will not clap. Shout, you will not shout. Anytime you come to my office, I come to take my money. I'm telling you. <laughs> Sometimes, by the time we leave the office, we have spent over 10,000. Yeah, when they come, oh, brother, I don't have something to eat. Take. <laughs> All right, so... If you want a copy, please grab it. Let's go. If you want a copy, grab it. Let's go. Okay. Now, tonight, we are doing a very powerful direction. I encourage everybody to be in. I don't want to start prophesying, because if I start, it will take me another one hour, 30 minutes. Let me reserve it for evening. Right. Now, tonight, get me coconut water. Most of you came in the morning. You decided not to come in the evening. God has told me. So, I'm telling you the mind of God. Come in the evening. Whose voice are we going to hear? The voice of you or the voice of God? Remember the first day we pray about the will of God. Is it the second day? The second day, the will of God, God's will. So God says we should all come in the evening and come and pray and enter into the prophetic. Get me coconut water when you are coming to church tonight for a serious prophetic direction. A serious prophetic direction. And I'll teach you on God's provision. And whilst we are praying, I'll be letting you drink the coconut water for a direction. Whilst we pray, one prayer point, you take, you take a, a sip. So, uh, then the next day, that is tomorrow, you get me bread. All right? Thursday, you get me bread. Huge bread. You are in church. I've not seen, since I came, I've not seen you. Come, you. you. I've not seen since I came. Have you been coming? Small, small. I didn't say come, I said stand. Me and Sharon come. I've not been seeing you. Have you been coming? Okay. Where's my boy? Bring him. Let me see him. It's been a while. Sit. All right. So, bring me coconuts. And tomorrow evening, bring me huge bread. Big, big bread. All right. I'll be doing direction for you and your children. And I'll be speaking into their lives, saying that they will never, ever lack some of you, your parents did not do well. That is why you are struggling. For a father and a mother leaves a good legacy for his children. If you struggle, it's your mother's fault. Somehow, not all the time, sometimes. Sometimes you yourself, you are a problem. Are you understanding me? Sometimes you yourself, you are a problem. Other times, it's their fault. They didn't build a good legacy for you. So you, in Africa, in Africa, you want to earn a cash as here. Some of you cry, you, you pay your fee hospital. Mama, sorry. Oh, Yari. Are you sick? Are you sick? To Papa Francais? To Vietu? Côte d'Ivoire? Quel quartier? Rivera. Tu fais quoi là-bas? Couture. Couture. Et puis quoi encore? C'est fini. C'est fini. C'est fini. C'est fini. Quelle église? Mission nationale de Dieu. Mission quoi? International. International. Tu es un prophétesse là-bas? Oui. Ta femme? Oh, okay. 
You're a pastor? Yes. In Cote d'Ivoire? Yes, my brother. Oh, okay. You're also from Cote d'Ivoire? No, I came with them. You came with them from no. Cote d'Ivoire? No. So what I'm saying, do you understand? I don't speak English very well, Papa. Well, so tout ce qui est dit là, tu n'as pas compris. Oh, je, je, tout ce qu'on dit, je comprends pas. Tu comprends pas? Comprends. Tu es là, comme ça. Small, small, je comprends. Small, small. <laughs> <laughs> so you travel from Cote d'Ivoire to come and see me? Huh? You travel from Cote d'Ivoire to come and see me? Yes, yes, Papa. Okay. Uh, tonight, after service, I will see you, okay? Yes, Papa. Après le cul de soir, il te voit. Okay, merci, Papa. Okay. Okay, shall we be on our feet? Lift up your offerings up. Lift up your offerings up. Lift up your quality offering up. All those who came forward for the seed prophet called latest tonight, you have to redeem your pledge. You have to redeem your pledge. Lift up your seed up. Now, because we are coming back tonight, nobody is allowed, permitted to see me. All right? Only my cousin who came to see me is allowed to see me. After that, nobody, nobody is allowed to see me. Amen. Nobody. If you want to see me, see Pastor Ozu Empire, he will pray for you. Don't bring anybody to my office. Good. Lift up your hands. The pastors will be around. They'll be praying for you, speaking into your life. If it's an emergency, they'll pray for you. If I give you a direction to do and I ask you to bring it today, tell them they'll do it for you. Otherwise, you can go and come back in the evening. I have just four hours to prepare and then come back again. So I've told him in your presence. Huh? Not one person. Hey, boss. He has started. Always you come. Just one person. Just one person. Just one. Nobody. Lift your hand. Say Yehovah. <laughs> Shout Yehovah. <laughs> Shout Yehovah. Keep me. And bring me back tonight. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Bye bye. <laughs> hey. I prophesy. Hey, hey, hey. Bring your offering. Bring. Bring your offering. Hey. Hey. Why? I Go back. prophesy. You are untouchable. You are unshakable. You are unmovable. God punish that devil. I cover your children. I cover your business. I cover your marriage. I cover your education. I protect you. Lift up your voice of power. Lift up your voice of power. Sir, I am covered. Sir, I am covered. Sir, I am protected. Sir, I am covered. Provide. Touch on and say provide. Provide. Say God shall provide. God shall provide. I said touch on and say God shall provide. God shall provide. I feel this oil. Touch on and say neighbor. Neighbor. I don't care. I don't care. How the economy. How the economy shall look like. Shall look like. Shut. I don't care. I don't care. Shut. I don't care. I don't care. Say neighbor. Can I pray for you? When everybody shall say, There is a casting down, you who shall say, There is a lifting up. When all men say, Doors are shut, you who shall say, There is an open door, you who shall say, A great and a fervent door has been opened. When everybody yes. will cry, yes. you shall laugh. Yes. When everybody yes. shall put their hands down, yes. you will lift your hand. Yes. I pray for you. Yes. Receive supply. Yes. I pray for you. Yes. Receive abundance. Yes. I pray for you. Yes. Receive open doors. Yes. Receive it now. Yes. Receive it now. Yes. Receive it now. Yes. The Lord is shot. Yeah. Give him a 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 shot. Yeah. I feel this oil. Yeah. Can I pray this word? Yeah. Give him a shot. Yeah. 
pray for you. I pray for your children in the academics that will stand tall. In the education, they shall be the first. They shall be the head and not the tail. Can I preach after tonight as you step out? God shall order your steps. As you step out, God shall order your steps. I prophesy you are not ordinary. I prophesy you are unique. You will make it. You represent a man. His name is Jesus. You represent a God that is bigger than the biggest, mightier than the mightiest. We don't serve a dead God. I pray for you. You will break out. You will break forth. You will break out. You will succeed. Give the Lord a shout.